involved with the Thirst Project before, right? Yeah, I've been involved for about four years now. And so what has that been like? Have you purchased wells? Yeah, I, I've, I've uh, you know, early on, um, I, I did a campaign on Twitter and we raised enough money to build a well in Swaziland into a well rehabilitation in Uganda. Um, I've, I've, you know, traveled a bit. I, I've been to uh, Seattle and New York and New Jersey and speaking at schools, high schools and colleges. Um, you know, I, I, I come to this every year. I was, I was able to go on a trip to uh, uh, Southeast Asia with Kentiki, one of our sponsors, and um, and that that raised, uh, uh, you know, uh, I mean, it wasn't me, but like my that trip raised like a quarter million dollars for Thirst Project, and um, I, I'm 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 very lucky that you know, uh, to be in a position to be able to uh, be involved in this capacity and and, and have the impact that I've, I've I've managed to have, and I'm just I'm I'm very grateful, and I I love this organization, and it's just awesome. I'm really happy to be here. What is it like, you know, seeing the result after you've d you've done all this work, seeing you know the pro final product and these kids getting fresh water? Yeah, I mean that is you know when when people get clean water for the first time. I mean it's something that I, you know I certainly take for granted every day. I mean I'm, I'm sure most of us do, um, you know. But but when 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 a community gets clean water for the first time, um, I mean there's there's dancing in the street, there's celebrating, there's singing. It's just it's because you know it, it literally changes every aspect of, of of life and community development and family development and, and individual development because when you when you don't have water and you're just trying to get clean water every day you know there's no I mean kids kids can't go to school like like women can't find work it's it's just it, it affects everything beyond just sort of health and hygiene and all the other sort of basic things um, but yeah it uh, it changes people's lives and um, I, you know I'm just I'm so uh, it, it's it's an amazing thing to be a part of what do you think people can do on a regular day basis to help you know make a change in the environment um, yeah there's uh, I mean there's all kinds of things people can do I think you know um, I, I think things are changing I think people are being more uh, cognizant to co uh, to conserve um, in their own lives, I think uh, you know as as new technologies continue to be developed and and become cheaper over time. I mean, you know, the truth is that's when it comes to the environment. I mean, it, it's it, it's ultimately going to be an economic thing. Like eventually, solar power is going to be the cheapest way to do it, and then that's when it'll be the way we all do it. Um, so, but until that day comes, you know, I we I guess we just gotta just gotta hang in there and and. And hope it's not too late at that point. I, I think I think we'll be all right. But in the meantime, um, you know, I'm just uh, I'm just I'm I'm really grateful that this organization kind of found me, and 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 I get to uh, I get to be a part of giving people clean water. I mean, what's cooler than that? And I know you were part of a huge saga, Twilight. You know, what was it like watching yourself on that screen? You know, one last time. Yeah. Listen, Twilight was incredible. I mean, it changed my life. I, I, I'll always be grateful for that. Everything, every, everything in terms of my career, my life kind of moving forward will be kind of because of Twilight in, in some part. Um, so I couldn't be happier about it. Um, you know, it's, it, was, it was a part of my life for like five years. It, it still is, really. It's, it'll never like go away. Um, but yeah, no, to, uh, yeah, to be a part of something that, that was, that became so kind of, ingrained in our uh, cultural lexicon was just was was pretty surreal it still is to this day it's never really quite sunk in I have to ask are you a werewolf or vampire fan um I'm I'm more of a vampire guy I yeah I just I I think they're sexier I think they're more mysterious I think they um, they well the yes they do the recent incarnations do sparkle um, yeah no I um, although there's something there's something cool about being a vamp uh, a werewolf too uh, I just I've always been more attracted like to vampire I mean not just attract you know but like attracted to vampire you know what I mean thank you so much it was a pleasure talking of course thank you yeah thank you.